Hello, and tonight I'm going to be reviewing uh, two Marshall products. One is the JMP1 rack mounted MIDI controlled preamp, and then the EL84 2020 power amp. Um, these are both uh, single rack units. Uh, they fit into this is a 4U rack I've got here. Um, they're really compact and it's cooled on the outside here by the fan so it blows the air forward so you don't need to worry about um, racking it into a kind of um, portable rack unit. It's got uh, an input headphones output level control um, it's got the patch number display and it's got the store button there and uh, your data control knob there which basically controls all of these individual um, kind of settings. Along the bottom you have your kind of uh, your overdrives so you've got overdrive 1 and 2. Overdrive 1 is a kind of more classic Marshall plexi sound. Overdrive 2 is a more kind of modern uh, rock and metal sound. You've got a bass shift button here which essentially boosts the uh, the, the lows on uh, like some people have complained that the, the clean sound quite thin and tinny so you can boost the uh, basses with this. You've got your clean 1 and 2. Clean 1 is more um, kind of I, f I find it kind of more warm and two is more trebly. I might have those around the wrong way. <laughs> um, and then you've got your MIDI map control button, your channel button, and then on the top you've got your kind of more generic controls of your volume gain, uh, bass, middle, treble, presence, and your effect volume. So essentially you go through uh, using the data knob to choose a patch, and then you can edit the patch by choosing the overdrive and choosing, it's, it's really simple. Um, it's basically just like an um, like 50 or 100 amps in one. Um, this is being controlled currently by the Marshall um, JMP1 foot switch, which is not MIDI, um, but you can hook any MIDI pedal up to this unit and you'll be able to control all the features of it, including the effects loops and stuff like that. I'm running, as, um, on the effects, I'm running an MX200 Lexicon unit and then the top is a uh, Korg Pitch Black Pro Tuner. Um, I'll be running this um, pretty low volume through a Bagheera 4x12. Um, so we'll start on the um, Overdrive 1 channel. Um, this is kind of your classic um, Plexi sounds, 60s, 70s and kind of early 80s Marshall sounds. And I'll be playing through a Fender Strat. So this is uh, the well, this is my first patch uh, on the Overdrive One channel. So that's the uh, overdrive channel one. So as you can see, really good foot switching. Hit the button and it's instant. A lot of these kind of Marshall pedals are pretty poor quality and they kind of mute it for a millisecond before moving to the next patch. This one doesn't, which is which is quite nice, obviously. Um, so this is this next one is your um, overdrive two channel. So your more modern metal. Uh, rock, kind of modern, even sometimes kind of pop rock sounds. Um, kind of more towards the ABT, JCM kind of area of Marshall amps. Um, this will be, I'll be running a delay and hall reverb and a little bit of compression on this setting. Um, so here it is, this is uh, the Overdrive 2 channel. <laughs>
yeah, so that's uh, the kind of overdrive two channel. So we'll move on to the clean channel. Um, a lot of people have complained that this is quite thin sounding. Uh, I can see where they're coming from, but luckily on the EL84 you've got a deep um, button here that you can turn on and off. That kind of adds a bit more low end to the, the sounds. So I use the deep on the uh, clean channel and it actually sounds sounds pretty good. Here's, here's an example. <laughs> Obviously, if we add some chorus to that and some delay and compression, you can kind of get a cool uh, 80s kind of twang. Um, and then on the bridge pickup, not doesn't sound too great. A bit lacking, so I can see what people mean about the uh, clean channel problems. But apart from that, it is definitely one of the kind of most convenient and best sounding preamps that I've possibly ever used. And it's got so many good features that it's so di it's so kind of versatile. Versatile, whatever you want to use it for, it, it will it will adapt. If you want to do like metal, you can put a tube screamer in front of it and you know, really boost the the output. Or if you want to play some like kind of quieter blues, it can do that too. And it's all MIDI controlled, and it also has a stereo, stereo, a basically stereo loop and a stereo out as well. So you can stereo out your effects in the loop, which is really cool. And you've got um, a cab emulation out, so you can plug it directly into your sound card without the need of a power amp, which is really handy for recording. If you want to actually get that live sound, for you know that you use um, on stage. Um, in your recordings at home, you can plug straight out from the, the cab emulation out with no power amp. Um, so yeah, that's the JMP1. Um, I'm super happy with it. Uh, I, I had just recently bought a Hughes & Kettner uh, Tube Meister and wasn't too impressed and I bought this and it's completely blown me away, especially on the uh, Overdrive 2 channel with effects. It's, it's a really, really fat, uh, warm sound and you can do anything from vintage to modern without having to buy two heads. You're essentially getting kind of a range of Marshall heads all in one. So that's the JMP1 and the EL84 Power Amp. Cheers.